Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Legolid Gamer, and welcome back, you guys, to another Call of Duty Infinite Warfare video. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you the best tips and tricks in order to get the easiest nuke possible within Infinite Warfare. I'm also going to be showing you guys the best class setup in order to get easy de-atomizer strikes. So if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you guys do definitely drop a like. That would really help me out. And if you are new here to the channel, make sure you do definitely subscribe for some more Call of Duty content. But anyway, let's go ahead and get straight on into the video. So, of course, before I get into the tips and tricks and also the class setup you need to have a nuclear variant i'm pretty sure that's obvious already but the nuclear variant that i suggest that you unlock is the mv4 falla and the reason why is because the mv4 is definitely one of the most favorable weapons in infinite warfare and the reason why is because the gun has minimal to minimal to no recoil and also because of how accurate the gun is so definitely i would suggest that you unlock the mv4 fallout so now that we have that out of the way let's get straight into the class setup that I was using in this gameplay and in order to achieve the nuclear so right now you're seeing it on screen I'm going to be using five attachments and two perks. Now, I use a lot of attachments, and the reason why is because I feel like when you're getting nuclears, you need to have the most advantages possible. You want to have an advantage in any type of situation. I feel like when you have five attachments, it will definitely utilize the full potential of the gun and will make your chances of getting a nuclear very high. So, anyway, let's get straight onto the attachments I'm using. So, of course, for the weapon, I'm using the NV4, and I'm going to be using the ELO site. Now, the ELO site is definitely something very good, even though the NV4 iron sights are actually pretty accurate i still feel like you should put on an elo sight just to enhance your accuracy and you're definitely going to see that the elo sight is going to be coming in handy at longer ranges so definitely i would throw on an elo sight now the next attachment that i have here is quick draw now quick draw is definitely a very important attachment when you're going for these nuclears you need to have the first shots on the enemies and that's definitely going to increase your chances of winning gunfights so definitely i would put on quick draw and it's probably the best attachment that you can have when you're going for these nuclears because it ensures you that you do get the first shots on the enemies and that's definitely something very important and we want to have an advantage in our gunfights so i would throw on quick draw now the next attachment that i have here is the silencer and the suppressor is definitely also a very important attachment to run as well it's going to keep you off the minimap you're going to be stealthy and to most people the minimap is something very vital and once they see that red dot they just instantly go there but when you have the silencer it's going to make the enemies have a harder time to track you on the radar so definitely i would use suppressor now the next attachment that i have here is stock now stock is definitely a very good attachment with an assault rifle and it increases your maneuverability and that's definitely going to help you when you're peeking around corners it's definitely going to help you to be more accurate and also it's going to make you a harder target to hit so definitely i would throw on stock now the next attachment that i have here is extended mags now i don't use dexterity as a perk because usually i would use dexterity just because you would reload faster but for this instant i would really recommend extended mags because when you're shooting multiple people you don't want to be running out of ammo and you definitely don't want to be reloading in a middle of a gunfight that's something that you never want to be put into that situation so i would counter that by using extended mags and extended mags is always going to allow you to have enough ammo in your ammunition so that is pretty much going to the attachments that i'm using now for the perks i'm only using two perks but i feel like with these two perks they're definitely going to help you out a lot and they're definitely something very beneficial so anyway for perk one i'm using ghost now ghost is an important perk to run when you're going for these nuclears you want to be staying stealthy and of course we have that silencer and ghost combo so it's definitely going to help you to stay stealthy and flank around enemy spawns and then then the next perk that i have is scavenger of course that's pretty obvious you want to be running scavenger i mean you have to get all 25 kills with the gun you can't be picking up somebody else's gun so that's why i would really recommend scavenger so you can always replenish your ammo now that is pretty much going to be the best class setup that i'm using now i'm going to be also suggesting a couple of combat rigs that i would really suggest using when you're getting these nuclears and that is the synaptic with the rewind payload the phantom with the active camo and then the merc with the refractive arm and then also also, of course the FTL with the phase shift now those are some very good combat rigs in this gameplay I was using the synaptic combat rig it's definitely one of my favorites to use because when you rewind you can go into a safe position and you can replenish your health and ammo so definitely I would recommend that now those are the combat rigs now let's get into the score streaks that you should be using now in this gameplay I was using the UAV the warden and the advanced UAV and the UAV of course to see people on the mini map and the warden is something very good because when you call in the warden you don't really have to worry about people coming from behind you because the warden is going to cover your back and then also because of the warden you can go pretty much and um, play a little bit more aggressive and rush out to the enemies and so I don't have to worry about really people coming from behind me and then of course I have the advanced UAV to show me exactly where the enemies are so that is going to be the score streaks now another good score streak setup is running something like the UAV the counter UAV and also the advanced UAV some non-lethal kill streaks are fine as well but that is pretty much going to be the score streaks now right now I'm going to be sharing with you guys five very important tips and tricks
tips that will definitely help you and pretty much make it easier to get a nuclear and when you follow these five tips and tricks it will definitely help you to get a nuclear so anyway let's get into the first tip that I have here the first tip is playing more passive now when I mean by playing passive I don't mean necessarily that you should camp in the corner the entire time and just wait for enemies to come to you what I mean by playing passive is holding down enemy spawns and also knowing your vicinity and also another good thing is playing on the outskirts of the map because when you're just going to straight up rush into middle of course it's kind of obvious that you're going to get killed very easily so that's not a very smart choice to do this so playing on the outskirts of the map is definitely going to ensure you that you're going to be playing more safe and a lot more passive now that is the first tip that I have here now the next tip that I have is using the environment to your advantage what I mean by that is pretty much head glitches spot there's so many head glitches spots in this game and you have to use it to your advantage it's definitely going to help you out a lot and th these um t i mean these um environments are pretty much going to help you to tremendously win gunfights so definitely head glitching spots wall run spots all those kind of things are definitely going to help you improve your chances of winning a gunfight now the next tip that i have here is using higher elevation to your advantage and what i mean by that is going up a building it's definitely going to help you out a lot because people are going to have to adjust their aim vertically and they're going to have a harder time to hit you so definitely using the higher elevation is definitely something very important to do now the next thing that i have here for the um tip is jump shotting and drop shotting consistently and also frequently now this is something very good drop shotting in this game isn't very effective as jump shotting so jump shotting is definitely something very good to do in this game basically um if you don't have a scuff like most people i don't have a scuff myself i actually just jump shot because i play on stick and move configuration which i would highly suggest that you do or you could play on bumper jumper that's also very good as well because basically when i play on stick and move it replaces the right analog stick to jump so i am a little bit restricted to that the fact i can't actually go prone but that's not something very important in these futuristic call of duties really you just want to jump shot a lot and jump shotting will definitely um catch the enemies off guard and it's definitely going to help you out a lot now that is going to be the next tip now the final tip that i have here and this is something very important is peeking corners frequently and pre-firing now peeking corners is something very important i see a lot of people get killed off their deatomizer strike maybe six or five kills off just because somebody was camping in the corner it's very important that frequently always peek around corners and when you're just entering a new building you want to be pretty much peeking everywhere and you want to see where your enemies are and also another good thing is pre-firing when you already know where an enemy is say somebody's just camping in the building and you're going to be pre-firing because you know it's there it's definitely going to increase your chances of winning a gunfight so that is pretty much going to be all the tips and tricks that i have for getting a nuclear trust me once you apply all these tips and tricks into your gameplay you're definitely going to see that getting a deatomizer strike isn't that hard at all in fact it's going to make life a lot easier and that's pretty much going to be all the tips and tricks i have for you guys and of course the final kind of bonus tip that i want to give here is being patient and also have fun while you're doing it i mean of course in any type of thing that we do in life whether it be a sport whether it be a video game whether it be some kind of thing that requires skill always being patient is something very essential and also practice makes perfect i mean every single time you go on a game you want to have a positive positive state of mind you don't want to be all negative you don't want to be rage quitting because that's really going to ruin your chances of getting a nuclear you just want to be having fun at the process as well and then of course just have fun with the game and pretty much be patient that's pretty much all the tips i have for you guys i hope you did enjoy the video and i hope all these tips did help you out guys if you did make sure you do definitely drop a like guys it really helped me out if you enjoyed the video make sure you do definitely subscribe for some more call of duty content and i will be catching you guys in my next video so god bless this nation peace out guys peace Oh,